Hi guys, thank you and welcome back to my channel. So this week we're gonna do a foundation review to create this makeup look right here. So what's special about this foundation is from Ose. 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 So this foundation is catered for only Asian Eastern skin tone with yellow undertone. So if you're interested in knowing more about this foundation right here, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel right down below. And don't forget to ring the bell button right here for next week notification that posts on YouTube every single Wednesday. Also a shorter version on my IGTV every single Friday. And with that said, don't forget to follow me on all my social media at bella.c.snow. Okay, let's start. Okay guys, so let's get started with this review. And since this is more like a foundation complexions um, focus, I'm just gonna start and more deep dive into complexion rather than eye and everything else. So first, I'm always gonna go in with like a moisturizer and the one I always use before my, mo my complexion is from Embryolis. And this one is gonna keep your skin more hydrated. And because I use a lot of powder. So this is gonna keep my skin still more hydrated even with more powder. So I'm just gonna put enough on my hand. A generous amount. I'm just gonna put that all over my face to make sure my skin is all hydrated. And because I have a little bit more like um, normal to drier skin, I always like to put on a lot of moisturizer before I put on my foundations. That would help everything glide on a little bit more better and a little bit more easier and i always go in with like a primer so the one i'm going today is the matte studio fix roll cream and the one i'm using is in gold it i'm just gonna put on a, a pea size of it it's right here all over and with that too moisturizer and primer is already gonna give me that like dewy finished skin and now, so now let's go in and unbox this new foundation. It's coming like a box like this. And when you open it, it's have Ose. I think that's how you pronounce it, Ose. A lot of people pronouncing it Ose. It's, I think it's called Ose. And she did wrote me a note right here. So the thing with this one, you know, when you like scroll down through like Facebook, Instagram these days always have ad and now they have a lot of like cosmetic ad depends what your interest is and this brand actually pop up into my Facebook like a thousand times so I'm like ooh new foundations and it's specifically for like Asian skin tone and that's my skin tone so I'm like order so it's coming like a box like this one so it does come in only six shades and this one is not the full foundation bottle so the way they does it because the foundation itself is really expensive it's like $90 per bottle and this is more like an online store and the way they do for you a way they for them to like give you the right um, foundation number is gonna give you more like a tester so this thing is coming like this little thingy right here so first off let's talk about the box so the box is coming like this one um, it's really nice all the packaging is super nice and super high-end and this say Ose I think I think I say that right say Ose and when you open this one it's coming like this with like an instruction of how you you know color match your skin tone and this is not the actual um, foundation bottle because the foundation bottle is like much much bigger this only come in like three little shades like this and this whole thing cost you $30 and you're like, what the hell, this little tester bottle is like $30. But they have a promotion right now that you actually purchase this one for $30. And then you can use that $30 for your full size bottle foundations once you find out which color match you are. And they have six different color match, six different color foundations. And it's coming in three different category, light, light, medium, medium, dark, deep color. So you can just pick one. And the one I'm using is light medium to see which one I'm gonna fall under. So I feel like I'm like this too. But before I'm gonna start swatching, I'm gonna let you know a little bit about 
this brand. Okay, so I say I would say cosmetic is pioneer makeup brand specially formulate and review enhanced Asian complexions. Create just Created to satisfy satisfy the unique demand of Asian skin by combining Eastern Eastern sensibility with Western artistry, Ose provide a voice for Asian women living in the East, West, and everywhere in between, North and South. Named after the force of nature that we are, Ose pay homa, homage. Is it homage or hom homage? to these bold, confident, and unstoppable women because we are truly a force to be reckoned with. Let your true beauty shine. So once you check out their website, it's really nice, it's really clean and easy to access and they only have six different color and before you spend all your money to purchase like a full size bottle which is $90 and it's more like a bougie foundation and since this is more like a um, startup company brand I feel like they do price the price the foundation price is really high but if you read out all the formulation it's really high-end formulation also so it's kind of worth it ish but let me try this one first so they call this one is more like the experience set for you to try on your foundation and the one I got is in medium and the color in here is called Celine, Ilum and Nova. I think that's what it is. And this bottle right here is so cute. They are definitely smaller than I thought. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and go into look for my right color match. And the first one, this is called Celine. So usually you match color, you do from like um, the cheek color to your neck color right here. A lot of people match it up here, which is not the perfect place for you to call, to color match because the majority you want to match your skin with like your neck color. And you don't want, because when you wash your face, your face usually get a lot more like scrub lining products, your face tend to be a little bit more lighter than your body so you want to match it as close as possible that's why you're trying to match from like your neck and your cheek area right here so the first color in here from the color is called Celine so I'm just gonna put it right here so you can see which one matches me better and that's definitely too light for my skin tone and the next one, this one is called number 3, Illum I have no idea how they come up with this name though. And that's much more closer to my foundation skin tone. And the last one in this medium set is called... This one is called Nova. So here is the three color. Which one do you think is gonna be my perfect match? I feel that like I'm kind of between Nova and Ilum. I feel like this one might be a little bit too dark for me. If I get a little bit more tanner, I might be this color, but I feel like I'm more like this color. I could be in between those two. So now I'm just gonna go in and pick this one, the center one. So that's gonna be Ilum. So the foundation, the color that matched me is going to be right here, Ka'ulam. And this bottle is so cute. And I love how they have like a little squishy thingy for you to pick up the foundation. I'm just going to put like one this much, like a pea size. So I'm just going to go in normally how I'm going to apply my foundation and that's going to be with a brush. So this brush is from Sephora Duo and brush. I'm just gonna put in a little bit. I'm just gonna keep that there and just gonna go right on top. And first off, it really doesn't have any fragrance. You can't really smell anything. It's just smell like a foundation. And so far, everything glide on so smoothly, so smooth. I feel hydrated. So here's what the foundation look like on one side with foundations on this side and this side it doesn't have any foundations. So here it is. So so far I feel like it's super good. It's matching my skin tone 
I feel like it's slightly light because I put it right on top of the other uh, foundation that was right there that is slightly lighter color so it's causing it to be a little bit more light but, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on this side to see if that's still gonna be my perfect match or do I need like a darker shade but so far I feel like Ulam is slightly too light for my skin tone or because I just laying out the other day and got a little bit more tan so I'm just gonna go in with the color Nova it's one shade up but so far I feel the formulation is really nice it's not drying at all so be because this one the foundation does have more like a skincare benefit in them to have like pearl um, and I was watching one of the video when she was talking about how her mom was like feeding her like spoon of pearl when she was little because Asian culture they want your skin is a little bit more lighter and whiter because of Amer American culture um, and I feel like growing up my mom also wanted me to be a little bit more lighter like for now like even now when we go to visit my mom she's like oh why you get so dark why you need to be a little bit more lighter because Asian culture feel like if your skin is a little bit more darker it's not it's more like you're working on the field or something like that so you want you to be a little bit more lighter which is nothing wrong with working on the field but Asian culture for some reason they just like your skin a little bit more lighter I don't know why I like to be tan so I'm not that kind of Asian so that's why she created this formulation in the color range to have to have a little bit more deeper skin tone for more like uh, Asian that doesn't have such light skin tone but so far I am obsessed it's matched everything so perfectly and I feel that like I'm like the darkest color in Nova rather than Ilum Ilum might be more, more of my like winter color so I'm just gonna go win with Nova to be my color you know when you use your foundation you like pump it out and it looks so dark you're like oh why is it so dark but that actually like your color like when I'm applying it it doesn't feel dry at all it feels very hydrating it feels super light but still gonna give you more like a full coverage medium to full coverage if you want more like a full coverage you can always go back to build to that full coverage coverage but I feel like once this go in it's gonna give you more like medium coverage and it feels super light too it doesn't feel like heavy weight like you're wearing any makeup now I'm just gonna go in with the beauty blender to make sure I got everything down to my pores everything is even but I am upset with this foundation right now and next up I'm just gonna go through and finish my normal foundations routine and that's gonna be the Becca under eye brightening um, corrector this have a little bit more like a pinkish tone and because I don't have a lot of like dark spot underneath it's just a little bit so I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender right here and I'm just gonna specifically dab right there underneath and sometimes when I use this technique I don't have to go in with like a concealer right after because it could already help lightening and brightening my under eye so this one is my favorite corrector ever so after the corrector I'm gonna go in to do a little contour bronzer I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty bronzer tantal contour tantal right here and the color I'm using using is in light I just clean all my brushes today so so instead of putting all stripe on my face for contouring I'm just gonna go ahead and put on a little bit on my brush and I'm gonna use that to build up the bronzer because for this makeup look I want to try to make it look as natural natural as possible so I don't want to go in too much like stripey bronzer everywhere but everything gonna be really light and subtle and afterward I just want everything to blend in a little bit more better so I'm just gonna go in with a beauty blender to really press everything in and with this foundation everything blend in so good I'm just gonna go into a slight nose contouring with this brush right here and this is the Sephora brush number 28 okay I'm just gonna press really lightly under there and a little bit under on the back of my hand because I don't want such harsh line and now I'm just gonna go into my nose contouring Andre just texted me he's at work and he said he can't remember where he parked and the parking lot is so annoying 
Now for concealer, I feel I don't need a lot of concealer. I'm just gonna go ahead and in a little bit on the inner corner. I'm gonna go in with the MAC, my favorite MAC uh, concealer palette right here. And with a concealer brush, I'm just gonna dab a little bit on the skin tone and a little bit more like a pink tone. So that's gonna correct it a little bit. And with that, I'm just gonna put on the inner corner where I get a little bit more darkness in there. And bring it outward. And a little bit straight to my center of my nose bridge and i always have like darkness on this two sides so i'm gonna go ahead and go a little bit more pink on that two side also and you know what if i got the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filters and I, i'm just gonna go ahead and put that right on my cheekbone where i want a little bit more glow and highlight this is more like optional i like be really glowy, really glossy and dewy. And then with the beauty blender, I'm just gonna go in and tap that in. Next up, I'm gonna go in and set everything down. So the first powder I'm gonna go in is the Max Studio Fix, and the color I'm using is in NC20. And just to make sure my under eyes haven't been creasing. So with this foundation, I feel like you don't really need. Um, powder if you have more like a drier skin but I have more like normal to sometimes drier skin now so I'm just gonna want to make sure everything is set in there and not move throughout the day so I'm just gonna go in with a this is an elf blush brush I'm just gonna tap in a little bit and I'm just gonna set that on my under eye a little bit on the bridge of my nose because I want my under eye to be a little bit more brighter if you're on the go, you can just like finish right there. Everything is done. You can still get a little bit more um, set under eye, but everywhere else you can still get a little bit more dewy. Put on like a lashes, lip balm, maybe do your brows a little bit if you want to and you're done. Uh, I'm just gonna go in with another color and the color I'm using is from another powder and the powder I'm using is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and this one have a slighter darker color and I don't want that to be on my other eye So I'm going to use this color to be a little bit more like on my cheek area on, and on my outer perimeter To help it set and I'm going to try to stay away from my, the center where I want the brightness to be And you don't really need to set everywhere because I usually don't anyway Because I still want that dewiness to be like showing through so that's gonna be it now that everything is set i'm gonna go in with something a little bit more glowy and dewy and the one i'm talking about is the hourglass uh, luminous lighting right here so this one is in luminous light so i'm just gonna use a little bit and swipe on my cheek up and cheek up chin and that's it so what it does is gonna kind of like mimic your skin dewiness because I set with a powder and I want everything to set a little bit more dewy. So yeah, so that's gonna make your skin a little bit more dewy without so shiny. So now I feel like that's gonna be like a good complexion to stop right there. If you have more like groaning errands, going somewhere real quick and just put on like a little bit of foundation, slight concealer, slight corrector because the bronzer, the tint will already give you that like sculpted and defined bronzer with that a lot. So this is going to be like really good for like a daytime makeup look. And I'm just going to stop right there for the complexion. Now I'm just going to go in with my brows, do my eye and put my lips. I'm going to go back and tell you how much I like uh, and more information about this Ose foundation and how I feel about it. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here is the final makeup look using the new Ose foundations and let go over and do a whole review about this makeup look right here. So overall this foundation is truly is amazing. It's really specifically catered for more like Asian skin undertone. I feel like the undertone matched my skin tone like perfectly. I still probably gonna go through like the box again and gonna try out this two foundation throughout the week to see which one is my exact match before I use this $30 to buy the full size which is again gonna be $89 to be exact. So after trying this foundation, um, I definitely like it and if you are interested in this foundation or the company Osei, 
just let you know that they are definitely um, more catering towards more Asian skin tone, undertone, and skin texture. All the skin tone is more like an olive, yellow undertone. They only have six shades. And if you have more like a yellow undertone, you don't have to be Asian to use this foundation. If you have more like a medium to dry your skin, it's gonna be look great on your skin because the formulation and everything in here is extra hydrating. The formulation is really light, but also gonna give you a little bit more medium, beautiful to more like a full coverage. And all the ingredient in here is all uh, natural. Mostly it have um, Tahitian pearl, Evolia, I don't know how to pronounce that word. It's proven to boost radiant Asian skin. This fragrant fruit targets skin micro, micro circulation to enhance brightness and improve skin texture. And one of their favorite products that they use is in the foundation is hyaluronic acid. And hyaluronic acid is power hydrating ingredient. This acid have the ability to hold up to six liter of water. And is clinical proven to diminish, wrinkle, firm, and plump the skin type. And one of the main main ingredients in this Foundation is Tahitian Pearl. It is boosts radiant, nourish skin, and show natural aging process by improving metabolism, supporting detoxification, and protecting skin event against ev e environmental damages. So I watching all the interview about this foundation. They say usually foundation with hyaluronic acid and all the ingredients. They put only put like a little bit amount into the foundation to keep it more hydrated but they make this foundation a little bit more special they put a lot more hyaluronic acid percentage also pearl and everything good ingredient to put that into like a higher percentage rather than putting a lot of different filter in the foundation that make it glidable that is not usually not good for you but since they put on a lot more like natural products it's going to be a little bit more higher quality that's why the foundation itself is going to be $89 for the full bottle. You can always try the $30 to try on to see which one is the perfect color match. But overall, I am obsessed with this one. With this foundation, I think it's going to be my new favorite foundation to use. Originally, I love the Fenty Beauty foundation, but it does have slight more slight pink undertone so with pink undertone to put on top of yellow undertone is tend to give your skin that more light not ashy but lightning effect it's kind of like to a reverse but this one is more like a true yellow undertone but it's not like yellow yellow it has like more like olive undertone that is perfect for more like asian skin tone and that's what they are shooting for so again i'm going to use this throughout the week and throughout this month without the other review to see how like this and we definitely have a few more different foundation review coming up also so let me know which one is your favorite and for this makeup look uh, I'm gonna put all the products down below because I want to focus on this makeup look using on the foundation and complexions but yeah and that's about it so if you happen to like this makeup look or are interested in purchasing the foundation don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel right down below ring the bell button right here for next week notification i post on youtube every single wednesday also a shorter version on instagram igtv on friday and don't forget to follow me on all my social media at bella.c.snow i post in there practically every single day on my instagram story and again i'm going to put the link how you're going to purchase this product right down below also and yeah, I'll see you again next week. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Kiss the ring, believe what you see.